In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a monthly planner. I will specifically show you how to create a monthly planner in Canva. And this is the design we'll achieve by the end of this video. So, if you want to learn how to create your own monthly planner in Canva, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here from Template Warriors. On this channel, we help you create and sell digital products online and also help small businesses grow using the right digital tools through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to create this beautiful monthly planner, I need to sign into my Canva account. Having signed into my Canva account, I go over to the search bar and I search for calendar. Now go ahead and choose calendar and the size is 1920 by 1080 pixels. In here you see variety of designs. We are not going to use any of these. I'm going to go ahead and create mine from scratch. So I just click on create a blank calendar. And this will bring me to my canvas. First of all, I will give it a name right here. hit enter the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and add in an element so i go over to elements and i'm going to use the square elements and i'm going to go ahead and reduce the height and width so the width is going to be 172 okay i have 172 as the width and the height will be 125 and now my height is 125 perfect I can go ahead and reposition it and don't worry about the position right now we'll reposition it later so the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this so i select it i can duplicate it using ctrl plus d keys on the keyboard or i can go over to more then i click on duplicate whichever way so after duplicating i'll make sure i position it like this about this much so you need to create some small space in between the first one and the second one the next thing i do is go ahead and highlight both shapes then i duplicate it again this time around ctrl plus d on the keyboard then i take it here you see that the space in between the first one and the second one was 14 and as i drag to this level you see that i have the 14 appear which means i have perfect spacing so i release i can highlight all again then i go ahead and duplicate perfect now i have eight shapes meanwhile i need only seven so i can take off the last one so that i have seven shapes so these seven shapes will take care of the number of days we have in a week now let's get our rows that will take care of the number of days we have in a month because we are making a monthly planner so what i do is i highlight all this then i go ahead and duplicate it then I move it down here. I'll make sure I get my 14 like this. If you feel that the space is not enough, you can use the arrow keys to increase or decrease it. Let's see how. And I think I need to take it up a bit. Just once. Perfect. I can highlight everything. And I go ahead and duplicate. And I move it like that. You see that I now have my space to be 14. So I can release, I can duplicate again, and you see that perfectly it has aligned itself to where I want it. Awesome. And these are the number of boxes I will need for my monthly planner. So creating a monthly planner, you need to take into account the number of days we have in a month. And always try to use the maximum number of days, that is 31 days, so that you don't always have to adjust your boxes each time you are creating for a particular month. So if you have seven columns, six rows, you will have a perfect monthly planner for each month. Now that we have all our boxes in place, we can now position it where we want by selecting all. And I want to take it. So what I'm doing is I want the space right here at the left side and down here to be the same. And I think I have almost a perfect space. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add in a new shape. And I'll take it here. Maybe this time around, I don't need 14 pixels or space. So I'll take it like this. And I'll go ahead and open that. 
so that I have the same space like I have here. And I want to make it in line with the first two boxes. So I reduce it from here to this match. Awesome. I can go ahead and duplicate this shape. Now take it down here to match with this particular one. Then I open it up to the end. Perfect. Don't worry about the shape fill color right now. We we'll choose our colors later. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add in some text. So I'll go over to text right here. You can go ahead and choose the pre-made design text. I'm only go ahead and use a simple heading. Then I'll call it mantle planner. I'll decrease the line spacing in between them. So I'll go over to spacing right here. Then I'll go ahead and decrease it from here. So I'll decrease it like this. So I've made it 0 0.5. I exit out of here. Then I can position it where I want. I'll go ahead and reduce the size. Or I can hold the circular node right here and reduce it like this. Awesome. I can change the font from here. I'm going to go ahead and use Exa semi bold. I can still go ahead and reduce the size. Think this will do. In fact, I still have one more shape to add. So I go over to Elements. I just go ahead and click on the square to insert it. I take it up here and I reduce it like this. You can give it whatever height you want. Maybe 68 is not bad. Then I open it up to this level. And this way I'll enter in the days of the week. So what I'm going to do is I duplicate this text. I don't want to work on the font again. So I go ahead and duplicate it and I bring it here. I'll just edit it and I enter M as Monday. Sorry, it should be capital letter. I exit out of here and I can go ahead and reposition it. I can reduce the size so that you fit well. Let me further reduce it. Okay, 34.8. So I make sure it is placed perfectly in the middle of the first shape just like this so when you see this pink dash lines meaning it's in the middle of the shape so i go ahead and duplicate it and i position it here in the middle and it should also be in line with the first one see that i can duplicate again so i'll do the same thing for the rest of the four columns Now I can go ahead and change the days. So I have Monday, Tuesday. Oops, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and finally Sunday. Perfect. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in some text here. So I just go ahead and duplicate this just to make my work faster. So I place it like this and I go ahead and edit it. So I call this top priorities and I go ahead and decrease the size. I think 27.8 will do. I position it well like this. I will duplicate this and I take it down here and I change this to notes. Oops. Perfect. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Maybe adding in some lines here won't be bad. So I go over to elements then I go ahead and choose line. I take it here and I go ahead and reduce the width. Can reposition it so that it will be in the middle of the rectangular shape like this i don't want it this thick so i go over to line style click on it at the moment it is set to five i'll just go ahead and make it one hit enter perfect next i go ahead and duplicate it Control plus d and i reposition it okay this will do i duplicate again Perfect. 
if you want you can go ahead and add in the same lines in here but i leave this as blank whichever way you want to design your mantle planner i just want to show you the possibilities next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and add in some designs like a flower so i can go in here and search for flowers hit enter it should be noted that for you to be able to use some of them you need the pro version of canva so you just have to go through and find a free one you can use Okay, I saw one on top, which is not bad. Is it this one? No. I think this one. I select this. I reduce the size like this. And I'll place it right here. I'll rotate it a bit. Perfect. All right, I think this will do. If you want, you can send it behind the shape by going to position backward so that you have more space for your notes. If you also want it to be on top, it's up to you. So I reverse this. Next thing I'm going to do is select it and go ahead and duplicate it and I'll take it to this corner. However, I will turn it this way and I'll go ahead and make it bigger than this one. I think this is perfect, but this time around, I'll take it backwards. Take note, I have so many shapes, so you have to continuously click on backward so that all the shapes will come in front. Perfect. Now that we have a colorful element in our design, we can go ahead and pick our colors from it. So what I do is I can select any of the shapes, then I go over to color. If you look down here, you see photo colors. So we are getting all these colors from the flower right here. So you can go ahead and pick your colors from there. And I think the first one looks cool. It is lighter. So I choose it. Let me exit to see how it comes up. I think I like it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select all the shapes together like this. Then I go to color. Now go ahead and choose my color. Perfect. I exit out of here. If you don't want black text, you can also go ahead and change the color by picking the colors from the flower. So if for instance, I want to change this, I'll just select it. Then I go to text color. Maybe I can choose a deeper color like this one. I can also do the same thing right here. And I think this one too is not bad. So I'll go ahead and make everything consistent. So I'll just select all like this then i go to text color and i choose this awesome i'll go ahead and change the lines too so that the colors will be consistent so i can select all and i go over to border color and i choose this perfect i leave the title color as black so that you stand out and i think this looks cool and neat so from here, you can go ahead and save it as a PDF file by going to download. You see that it's already suggesting PDF for us. You can either choose PDF print or PDF standard, whichever way. So if you are going to be printing it, this will do. Then you can go ahead and download it. I'm not going to download it. If you want to share it with others so that they will be able to customize it the way they want, you can also go ahead and share it. However, if you don't want users to be able to edit your own template, you can go ahead and share it with them so that they have their own copy to be able to edit. And with that, you can even go ahead and sell this template to potential customers. So to share this as a template so that others can go ahead and use it, you go over to share, then come down to more. So in here, we have template link. You click on it then you can go ahead and give this link to whoever you want to use this template. So you can easily copy it and start sharing it. So that's it on how to create a mantle planner in Canva. All right, that's it guys. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.